Hello and welcome, this is Sunday Tutorial. Today I will show you how to make a simple logo, using a circular grid. So, keep watching till the end and you will easily make it. If you want more tutorials press the like button below and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know anything, just ask me in the comment section. Ok then, let's go. First step, select the ellipse tool and make a circle. Maintain Alt and Shift and drag the circle to the right to duplicate it. Now, maintain Alt and drag one circle to the bottom. Select the two top circles and press Ctrl G to group it. And then select everything and go to the Align window, and then click on the Horizontal Align Center option, to align the two top circles with the bottom one. You should find a shield shape in the middle. With the ellipse tool, while maintaining Alt and Shift click on the center of the shield and make another circle. Now, you can see that the intersection of all the circles, form a circle split in six parts surrounding a shield shape, we will try to convert this six parts into three equal parts. So, select everything, and then with the shape builder tool, click and drag to merge every two parts together. Now we will take off the useless external parts. While maintaining shift, select our three equal parts, and then maintain shift and select everything, then press delete. Great. We finished making our logo. Now add some gradient color to it, I know a very good place where you can find great gradients colors. This website called uigradients.com After opening the site, click on show all gradients, you will find a wide range of gradient colors, you can navigate the color menu and choose the color you want. I will go with this one. It's called Firewatch. This are the two colors that form our gradient you can copy it by clicking in it. This is the two colors that I copied. I will use them to make my gradient. So, with the rectangle tool. Make a rectangle then fill it with the default gradient. Copy the first color code. Select the rectangle, and then select the gradient tool. Go to the rectangle and double click on the first gradient stop. A color panel will open, just paste the color code here. Same thing for the other color, copy the code. And after selecting the gradient tool, double click in the color stop and paste the code. Now, our gradient color is ready to be applied. Select one part of the logo. And with the eyedropper tool, click on the gradient rectangle to copy the color. Now, our gradient is applied. Let's adjust it. Select the gradient tool, now click and drag from the bottom right anchor point of the shape, 
to the top left anchor point. Now do the same thing to the other two parts of the logo. Very nice, our logo is looking good, but we can improve it and give it a deeper look. Select one part of the logo. Go to edit and then click on copy. Return to edit and then click on paste in place. Go to the gradient window and select the lighter color and change the opacity to zero. Go to the transparency window and change the color mode to multiply. Select the second part of the logo, copy it and paste it in place. Then with the eyedropper tool copy the color from the first shape, good. Now, do the same things to the last part of the logo and you are good to go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to check out my other videos, and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ask me what you want in the comment section.